Hi, this is Jeffrey from Jeffrey App Tech, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to use a suction cup. Now, it's this box right here, along with this box right here. Now, you might be wondering, what, what is this box for? I mean, this clearly has a sucker on it and a gripper, but this box is for controlling the amount of air and controlling which way it goes. Let's open up the boxes. So this is what you should get for the, something like this, and you want to take out the sucker like this, and leave the gripper in there. And I'll show you how to install that tool in the next video. I'll put that right there. And take out this box. You should get something like this. You want to unwrap it. And you want to look at these wires. Like this. First, we're going to get started with the suction. Go ahead and put it on the arm, like that. And you want to plug it into port 1 because the wire says so. Like that. Then you want to flip it back. And you want to plug it like this. I'll show you. Move down a little bit. You see, there's that interface right there. Now you want to plug it in like this. 1 goes into GP1, which is right about there. One goes into SW1, which is right about there. Now, that's it for the wiring. Now we have to wire up the tube, which isn't really a wiring anymore. It's a tube. We'll keep that in the back. And this is a tube right here. Might be wondering where it goes. Well, it goes on the tool, tool right here. You have to just slip it on might be kind of hard but you just put it over and it just stays there like that in the next part we will be setting up in Dubot Studio I'll see you then we are in Dubot Studio first you want to power on your Dubot wait for it to turn on and connect once that light beeps and because I was coming from the previous video I'm going to install the Dubot Studio firmware Let it update. The firmware is done burning. Let's click on quit. And you want to go and connect. Now it should connect with no problem at all. Here, I'm going to press home just to make sure it's working. And it's going to go home. And let's wait for it to load. Now that's done going home, let's go to and select the tool to suction cup. And you want to try it. Works perfectly. Now let's go to teaching and playback. Here we are, and we want to move. For example, I'm going to delete these two. Now, you want to go and move it to a spot. So, let's say we're trying to pick up a block that's right here. It's going to create a point, and then you want to move it to another point, let's say like right there, and it's going to move from those places and you can choose different ways of moving them. First of all, you have to select suction cup on or off, in this case it will be on, and then when it gets to the point it's going to be off. And let's have a pause time of one second there, and a pause time of one second as well. And you can set, select the motion style, but let's just try it out, press play. Hmm, it didn't move to that other point. Hmm, let's see why. Now, let's try that again. We want to delete that point. 
and move it to this point. Let's see that show up and let's try again. There we go. That works perfectly. Now that's pretty much the basic usage. You can of course program it to do a lot more things, but this is the basic thing. Anyway, in the next video we'll be learning how to use the gripper, which is pretty much the exact same. And you can also find it in this box right here. And I'll see you next time. Bye!